I'm Eve, and welcome to the Halloween News Network. Tonight, the HNN takes an in-depth look into the top five Halloween myths. Are they frightfully right or dead wrong? Myth number five, my Halloween candy is poisoned. Dead wrong. While it's true that people have in fact died on Halloween night, the origins have all been traced to other sources and not to the candy they got while they were trick-or-treating. So we say, enjoy the evening and bon appetit. Myth number four, people have actually died working at haunted attractions. Frightfully right. Hard to believe, but there have been at least two reported deaths of hanging stunts gone eternally wrong. To those poor souls, we say, no news is good news. Myth number three, black cats are bad luck. Come on, could this little guy hurt anybody? I think not. Myth number two, my Halloween candy has pins, needles, and razor blades. Frightfully right, but it happens very rarely. And most often, it's just somebody playing a prank on their friends or their family. So the moral of this myth is, no trick-or-treating from people you know. Myth number one, vampires are real. Dead wrong. In fact, a physicist from the University of Central Florida proved it using simple math. Check this out. On January 1st, 1600, the human population was 536,870,911. If the first vampire came into existence that day and bit one person a month, there would have been two vampires by February 1st, 1600. A month later, there would have been four and so on. In just two and a half years, the original human population would have all become vampires with nobody left to feed on, even if the species doubled every month. So there you have it. That's all for this edition of the Halloween News Network. Have a ghoulishly good night and we'll scream you next time. Like all news shows, the information presented here is based on lies, innuendo, and the internet.